everyone, Joe Gentili from Saraf Gentili LLP. Today's video, I want to talk about some arguments that are <clears throat> actually one argument in particular that's likely to show up if you file a mandamus lawsuit and the government decides to fight you. So there's some arguments that are uh, almost certain to show up. So the, the first one being that the delay that you're facing is not unreasonable, that waiting two years to get a decision is perfectly reasonable. Um, and another, and one that um, immigration lawyers seem to be really annoyed by, at least, is that if you file a mandamus lawsuit, um, you're basically just jumping the line and that there's this, this orderly line that exists. And if we give you a decision because you filed a mandamus lawsuit, all it's going to do is hurt everybody else. And so, you know, in fairness, that that argument has worked for the government in some cases, but there's also a bunch of cases where it hasn't. And there's one case uh, that came out this year, I believe it's called Lions versus USCIS. I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description of the video that um, a, a judge gave a, a very good rationale for why that argument is, is uh, not a winner for the government. And the, the, the plaintiff prevailed on this point. And what the judges decided was, well, USCIS, you can't say that if I grant relief in this case, that it's necessarily to the harm of everybody else. And the reason for that is, uh, and this is kind of a bit of a power move by the judge, uh, the judge says, I have the authority to order you, USCIS, to pick up the processing speeds for all all your cases that are impacted by this particular category. So this case dealt with um, um, a petition that 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 works with EB5 uh, applicants or, or people that are seeking to get citizen uh, to get a green card by investment. So it was particular to them, but this logic could apply to any any group. Um, that argument has to give the government some some real pause about continuing with the case because it's it's one thing if they lose a case and they have to adjudicate a single person's petition but the level of risk to the government is a whole lot greater if they have to worry about a judge saying for this particular category of immigration petitions you have to revamp your whole practice um that is a big big problem for the government if a judge decides that so this decision um really should give the government pause to try to fight cases like this all the way through because the the they have some real risk if if the case goes poorly for them as well um so most of the governments that the government trot out there regularly they they all have cases somewhere going against them where the the plaintiffs have prevailed the government doesn't have a silver bullet that they're going to win uh every time on these cases so you know they do win some but they they also lose plenty if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye.